Hello everybody, it's Viking Manor here, and welcome to part 4 of my first full game live recorded thingamajig for zombies. Um, the reason, if you've watched the first three parts, that I'm switching to later narration as opposed to live audio chat is because... I kind of broke it and can figure out how to make it work. So, you'll, you'll see me checking the scores a lot. I'm actually checking to see if my mic is working, which it wasn't. So I just gave up on it eventually. But yeah, no, if you haven't seen the last part, you really should because that was probably some of the best zombieing I've ever done in my entire life. Mustangs and Sally's, they're freaking great, aren't they? That's why I put them on my controller. Sort of. But these things will save people's lives. As much, if not more, than a thunder gun. Those crazy kids. It was crazy trying to run all the way across the map the whole freaking game reviving people. Got slightly tiring after a while, if you know what I mean. Now why did he have to go and use that liner? I could have revived him totally fine without it. Yeah, gear devices. Uh, the reason, if you ever play with me, you'll know I throw gear devices very rarely. But the reason I threw it there was because the other guy reviving the other other guy asked me to throw it before I revived this guy. So I figured I might as well throw it and uh, help out, you know. And if you look at the guns that this guy gets from the box, that was that was a fail flop. If you pay attention to the guns that this guy gets from the box, he has freaking terrible luck. And it's kind of funny to watch happen. That's why I'm... This, this whole last part, this part, and I think the next part is why I'm pretty much designated reviver for when we play zombies. I wanted to jump through it so bad. So bad. See, look, another sniper, so that's two in a row for those of you keeping track. And I think he got a China Lake right there. I don't know if this audio is just crappy on my laptop or if it's crappy uh, for you guys as well. But, uh,. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad right now. I don't know. I've been having audio problems lately, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was another bad, uh, bad audio video. Hopefully it's not. Cause I, I do my best to actually give you guys as good of high quality videos as possible. This is where it would have been nice to have stamina. That's freaking holy crap. I don't know why he's wasting ammo. What do you see? Blam. Revived. It's all about the HK. Whee! Claymores. I didn't, my friend... Who was it? My friend from school was 
watching this video and he was started making fun of me for using claymores. Claymores are dope, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Glad I got that off my chest. See, look at that. Claymore spawned bombs. So it's like a super claymore that kills every zombie. Shut up, zombie. No one likes you. Carpenter. Blah, blah, blah. Carpenter. Blah, 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 blah. I remember when I needed Carpenter. Blah, blah, blah. You'll also notice, I'm trying to talk again, you'll also notice that this video is not is only 10 minutes long instead of my normal 15, and a lot of my other ones have been a lot shorter too. I've, I'm trying to switch to see if it makes it more popular, or like people watch more of them. Like, you can let me know whether or not you prefer the longer videos or the shorter videos, because I'm curious too, Be, but uh, I went and checked the statistics. And apparently, like, a lot of my videos were only getting watched 20 and 25% of the way through. So, uh, my theory is that if I make videos shorter, people will be more inclined to watch the whole thing. But I still want to end the videos between rounds or between games or, or whatever. Blah 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 I love the HK, especially with double tap. And flopper when I don't fail horribly. I know a lot of people who don't like the HK because its rate of fire is too slow. But it does more damage than the RPK, even though it fires slower. So, I kind of like it because it forces you to save ammo, and you have more of it. I mean, that by itself should make it worthwhile. More ammo on high rounds is amazing. I don't know, you can do the math, I'm not sure if it's exactly right. That guy was going crazy with his Mustang and Sally. Anyways, I'm not sure if the math is exactly right, but as far as I can tell, if you pack a punch of eight, uh, RPK, it's basically the same as getting double tap for a HK. I mean, all, all the statistics of how fast they fire and what the perks do and everything is online. Mustang and Sally! Can't touch this. That's actually the song I was singing right there. But yeah, the, the actual stats of all the guns and stuff are online. Um, I'll provide a link somewhere about now. Not where you can find that information. Um, that way you can go check yourself and see, and that way you can actually compare weapons and see which ones you would like to pack a punch, if you haven't packed punch in it. You know, that way you kind of get a feel on what's going down. Watch this right here. This is me warning him about the zombies coming. This is me trying to shoot them. This is me forgetting I have Mustang and Sally, and that's him dying. So yeah. Shut up, Nikolai. Don't lie to us. Well, that sucks for him, because he needs Flopper. And if you look at his points, he doesn't really have enough for Flopper and Joe. 
eye on it. Plenty. Plenty, plenty. Alright, so that is the end of part four. Um, I'm actually... Like, the gap right here was actually four or five minutes. But I went ahead and cut it in the interest of saving time and making it so you people would actually want to watch. So... For now, until you click on the link that's coming up, you... this is it.